Like a blind man walking, we would like to see. We are dreaming dreams of what will never be. That day's coming closer, you know that time is moving on. The prophets have predicted and told us all when the Lord could come. We all will confess Him, we will bow our knees to Jesus who is Lord through all. showing very clear we have but a minute and Jesus will be here now's the time to wake up now's the time to see when the Lord will come he's coming for you and me that I will send my spirit to lead you all my way. And in times of darkness, in the last days, we'll see great revival and we're giving him all the praise. That day's coming closer, you know that time is Oh! 
second book of Peter, first book of Peter, ninth verse. I could preach this tonight in a different way than I have in times past. I mean, in a different way as I have in times past. But <clears throat> First Peter the second chapter, the ninth verse. Praise God. Thursday night, I don't know what I'm going to teach yet, but I might possibly teach on communion. We'll be long and we will be having communion and foot washing in this church. Praise God. And uh, Brother uh, Rachinsky is going to be with us the night of communion and foot washing. Praise God. And uh, communion and foot washing is not something to run from, but to run to. Hallelujah. I love, I love that time in Christ Jesus. And Jesus said, if you don't do this, you don't have no part with me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody said, uh, the boy sitting on the roof last night said, I'd like to go to a church where they still believe in communion. I said, well, we do. Praise God. We don't only have communion, we have foot washing. Praise God. That's what a lot of churches never did have. Amen. And, uh, but they both go together when you read. Hallelujah. And uh, we will be having that New Year's night. While the world is going crazy, we will be having communion and foot washing. We will be getting our old pathways cleaned up, getting ready for a brand new year of 1991, walking in Christ Jesus. How many of you look forward to that night? Praise God. I look forward to that night. Praise God. Hallelujah. First Peter 2 and 9. But you are a chosen generation and a royal priesthood and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Whew. You don't normally have people having trouble worshiping and praising God if this light is marvelous to them. It's just them that forgot that marvelous light. You have trouble getting to worship God. Praise God. Let us raise our hands and ask the Lord. To... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. And Peter writing the words here, Peter being the apostle that Jesus chose to open the keys, to take the keys and open the kingdom of God on the day of Pentecost. And then as he is beginning to sign off, he is just about ready to lose his life. This letter is written to us about 37 years after Christ. Praise God. And Peter writing the words to a magnificent church that has been born in Christ Jesus of some several million people already. We for some strange reason have in our finite minds that this is just a little group of people. And that is what's assembled here tonight, just a little group of people. But this is no ways near the bride of Christ. Praise God. And I would imagine that in Kansas alone tonight, some three to five thousand of us are gathered together to worship God tonight in spirit and in truth. 
I remember a time in Kansas that if you could have got as many as in this church building in a fellowship meeting, you had a big meeting. Well, I remember. Praise God. Hallelujah. I remember when you had 200 from all over the state. Praise God. Hallelujah. I remember when everything in the state gathered together and we'd have about 40 to 60 people. But now, tonight, with lots of supposed to be saved ones out of church, we will still run somewhere probably between three and 5,000 in church tonight, worshiping and praising God in the state of Kansas. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. That's a small portion of the Bride of Christ. You could take Brother Key's church, and you could take Brother Morton's church, and you could take Brother Dan Walden's church, and you could take Brother uh, uh, Nate Wilson's church, and you could take, uh, uh, there's some more that I could get in, like Lee Davis church, and you could get into Harvey Davis church, and, and you could get into... Uh, Brother Hank, my, yeah, Brother Haynes Church in California, just just them few churches, and you could probably come up with five, six thousand people worshiping God tonight in California. Praise God! Praise God! We got some big churches, <laughs> we think, but they're not, because all you got to do is study the Book of Acts. The church in Jerusalem ran somewhere as close. To a half million. Whew. You talk about some more church now. Amen. The church in Ephesus runs 70,000. The church in Corinth runs some 30, some, I think it's around 33,000. Just the church in Corinth. Praise God. So we do not have a large church here. But we're working on it. Amen. Hallelujah. I said we're working on it. Amen. You know, the silly idea in Hutchison people is, is if you get three or four hundred people together, split it. Split what? Hallelujah. You don't split the church. Praise God. Hallelujah. The church becomes a mighty marching army that captures. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the reason why all the blacks should be going to the church and all the Spanish to the church and all the whites to the church and all the yellows to the church and all of the reds to the church. Hallelujah. They all ought to be going to the church because that's the way God reaches them all. Hallelujah. Amen. Whew, praise God. Hallelujah. There is no such a thing as culture lines when you get in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God whacks that stuff in too. Hallelujah. He don't have a gate for this one to come through and a gate for that one to come through. And, you know, y'all going to live over there in that neighborhood and y'all going to live in that neighborhood and y'all going to live in that neighborhood. No, sir, buddy, we going through them gates together up there. And we're going to come out. And I don't know, Brother Jesse, but you just might have a mansion next to mine. Hallelujah. Praise be all right with me. I get to visit you more often. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Woo. Glory to God. I know one thing. There ain't none of us going to have a cabin over there in the corner of Gory Land. Some dingback got out and wrote a song, Build Me a Cabin in the Corner of Glory Land. After the Lord already said, In my Father's house. Well, maybe that's why he wants a cabin, because he's not going to his Father's house. Hallelujah. Because he said, In my Father's house, are, 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 are. They're already built, they're already there. Many mansions, no cabins. Hallelujah. Praise God. If that was supposed to be a sign of humility, it was more of a sign of ignorance. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I ain't interested in no cabin. I got a mansion coming, and I ain't settling for a cabin. Glory. Woo. Peter said here, but ye are a chosen generation. I'm going to preach a little while tonight on the church. Hallelujah. We're a chosen generation. I don't care if you feel good or not. I'm going to have fun. Hallelujah. Chosen generation. I'm supposed to walk around with my head down. I go to the apostolic faith tabernacle. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, you're one of them roller rollers, huh? Praise God. You need to tell them, no, I'm not a holy roller. I'm a leapity hoppity. Praise God. They, they won't know what to do. You'll have them all messed up. What do you mean by that? I hop and I leap when the joy of the Lord comes on me. Woo! Somebody said, well, I roll. That's all right. I dance. That's okay. I kick. I cry. I wiggle. I do. You'll do something if God comes on you. Besides stand there and smile like a turnip seed. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I ain't ashamed of it. Woo. I like I like running around with you youngins. <laughs> like Brother Tracy and Brother. Yeah, Brother Keith's fun to run around with. Brother Don. I like to run around with Brother Don. I like to run around with Brother Brother Gary. He, you get in, in there with them boys in the restaurant, you know? <laughs> and you go to say grace and you say, you bow your head down, you know? And then, Bless God, these old boys, they just rear back. Thank God today, Lord. <laughs> Whew, everybody in there stop. Stands and pledge allegiance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. One old gal was trying to remember Brother Tracy of his life in sin. And old Brother Tracy just blurted it out. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he began to pray. Hallelujah. She didn't know. I guess he'd had a change. <laughs> Woo, but there's been a real change in me. There's been a real change in me. I don't act like I used to act. I don't think like I used to think. Praise God. Chosen. Somebody said, you go to that church, you mighty right. And I'm proud I go to that church. And I'm happy I go to that church. You know why I'm happy? Because he chose me. Lord, God have mercy. The Magruders just wrote a song. He chose me. Hallelujah. Ooh, I feel chill bumps. I feel uh, Holy Ghost and things jumping out all over me. Praise God. That's what you're supposed to feel when you preach. Hallelujah! Woo! Praise God. Hallelujah. My God, He chose me. what you did. You just heard the word and you reacted to the word and he said, well, I think I'll pick them out and use them. You see, a lot of you sitting around on this pew tonight and you think you come to this church and you say, but how many came and sit on this pew and left and ain't here no more? You want to know why? He chose me. Uh, hallelujah. He chose me. There's some of them he didn't choose and they ain't here no more. Amen. 
You're a chosen generation. I'd like to get on that too. Well, I'm the generation that's going to see the Lord come. I'm the one that's going to make a path in the sky. Superman ain't seen nothing, man. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to pass up his cape so bad I'm going to jerk it off his neck. Say, you liar, fall. Where are you going? Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. My God. Hallelujah. He said, you're a chosen generation. I'd like to get on that royal priesthood. You're a royal priesthood. In the Old Testament. Uh, the priest, he come up here to the altar. Hallelujah. And he went through the rites blood on the ear and all this stuff that was repentance amen burn the right sacrifice went up before God and the incense hit the nostrils of God fire took care of the thing hallelujah and, and the power of God fell down praise God but there's one time a year that he had to really be living for God no cutting around no playing around no carrying on because now you're going into the holy place and we're going to tie a rope around your ankle. And if you ain't right, you're going to drop dead in there and we're going to drag you out. But if you're right, them bells that's all hooked up on your garments are going to start ringing. <laughs> and you're going to start dancing. <laughs> Woo! And you're going to start singing. And you're going to start shouting. A lot of folk don't think dancing goes to this. But I'm going to tell you, if you really got it, it goes with this. Hallelujah. I put, it put leaping in your feet. It put, it put something to you. Praise God. It'll make them bells ring. He said you're a royal priesthood. You're not just like the other priesthood, but you're, you're beyond them. You're better than them. You're higher than them. Praise God. You're the royal priesthood. Why is that? Because we have an advocate with the Father, the high priest, Jesus Christ. You can come right on straight down here to the altar, hallelujah, and reach right in and touch the hem of his garment. Praise God. And the bells begin to ring. Praise God. The joy begins to sing because we are a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's the church tonight. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I get to look at that. And then he said, a peculiar people. We always take this peculiar. And we translate it into something we like. We're weird. I don't want people to think I'm weird. I'm not coming at them with starry on and jimmer and jimmer. And they're going to run out of the church because they're scared to death not the kind of peculiar I want to be. And somebody said, well, we're peculiar because the men wear tight neck shirts and long sleeves and loose trousers, you know. My God, we don't look like our pants got caught in the lawnmower. You know, some of them look like the pants got caught in a lawnmower. It's all twisted up around their ankle. Hello? I seen a man wearing a pair of pants the other day, and I was trying to figure out what they're doing. What's it? 
Uh, you know when men are going to start wearing pants that looks like skirts? Uh, he's walking along and this thing would wiggle around over his leg as he walked. Some other fellow rush up and kiss him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, you know, we just wear pants like men wear, you know. <laughs> Woo. We don't have to have fancy stuff swinging around our knees. <laughs> Don't have to look like we got caught in a lawnmower. Some fellas are coming, some boys are coming to church now. They got so many pockets down through here. You wonder which one they're keeping their dope in. They look just like some of them rock stars, you know. You better believe this church is right. This church is better than most churches in Kansas even in the UPC. i tell you one reason why this church is right is because there's somebody in this church keeping maintenance. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We ain't going to look like the world. We're going to be peculiar. <laughs> Amen. After the way they call heresy, so worship I the God of my Father. What are you preaching about, brother? The church. The church looks different. The church smells different. The church sings different. The church worships different. <laughs> Opened up that Sunday paper today, and there's John Lennon in there in his dark shade glasses. I said, my God, I thought he died. You got it. They ain't going to let their God die. Oh, Elvis, over there, I've been to Memphis, Tennessee. They tried to get me to pay $33 to see where he's buried at. I said, he ain't worth that much. I ain't spending no $33 look at his grave to buy another rock, Alvin. Hallelujah. Amen. Or to help Priscilla or Aquila, either one. Praise God. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I'm beginning to feel dangerous. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, I'll tell you what's wrong with that bunch outside these doors. They're going to worship their God whether you like it or not. Their God's not going to die. He may be dead, but he's still alive as far as they're concerned. I tell you one thing though, John Lennon can't get out of the hole. And I got concrete on poor old Presley. He's gonna have to really do some push ups. Hallelujah. I walked in the store here a while back, said Presley ain't dead. This guy met him the other day. I laughed my head off. I said when people read that inquire, all it is is a bunch of devilish junk. Read that news, all that trash is is lies. You know what it is? It's a bunch of slick college boys that's learned how to sit around, tell lies, print them up, and get people to read them and make millions off of it. Hallelujah. And they sit and laugh every time they make a million dollars. Said them blooming idiots out there swap. I said, old man, I walked in to pick quick one night. Old man was trying to tell me that was the truth. I said, you know what I'm going to do? He said, what's that? I said, I was going to drink coffee with you, but I'm going to leave. He said, what's that? I said, if I don't leave, I'm going to be as stupid as you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know why to think I'm that dumb and ignorant. I got to get up and get away from them lying mess. Woo! Praise God. My sister said, I read them. I believe it. Oh, I don't believe them. 
Honey, I don't believe him. I don't want my brother to believe I believe him. I said, don't be lying to me. I said, you read them damnable things that got demons in them and they'll crawl out and get all over you and the next thing you know, you'll be putting your life on the line for them. Didn't know I was going to preach like that, but I did, didn't I? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, the demons are out to get your mind tonight. And they think we're weird. Sister Charles and Brother Charles and the baby and my wife and one of the girls, Anna, and I went in to anchor in last night. Went in there because I like their Spanish food, man. I, I've ate Spanish food all over the United States, and as far as I'm concerned, Anchor Inn's got the best Spanish food in the world. Praise God. Now, if you don't like that, Sister Elena, you're going to have to prove it to me, see? Praise God. Hallelujah. And m my wife and I and the kids walked in there last night. And the whole place quit be bopping. You thought the plague walked in. Everybody. Come up here, please. If I've had the treatment so many times, I like it. Something different walked. You just put on your old stretched jean pants and walk in there. Ain't nobody going to pay attention to you. You like everything else in there. But you put a godly hairdo on, put your dress on, walk in there. Why, they'll drop their fork. Wink. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why is that something different walked in? <laughs> Praise God. Well, look at them weird people. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, who's weird? Ha, we ain't weird, honey. We know the weirdos when we see them. Let me tell you something. Ha, if you knew what was going on inside of me, if you had a liquor since you change what you are and you start being what I am. Ha, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel good tonight. It's hard to tell them what will come out of me next, you know that? Hallelujah. Peculiar people. But that's not what he meant. That's not even what he meant. When he said you're a peculiar people, he meant I have acquired you. I have purchased you. You are mine. That's why I'm peculiar. That's why when I walk in there, you know, my hair's cut. I look like the 50s or the 60s. Oh, you can always tell the boys that come out of the 70s, late 60s and 70s, they got the duck tails, you know. And these boys that come out of the 70s and 80s, they, they cut her down the middle. My boy's growing up. I watched him in there one day. He parted his hair down the middle. Man, I come out of that bathroom. I was cracking up. Man, I, I run out in the yard laughing so he couldn't see me. <laughs> this guy's going to do anything but be like his dad. Uh, <laughs> You didn't know I could read you guys so good, did you? But the main thing is they got the hair off their ears. Got it off their shirt collars. Hallelujah. God, so they look like a man instead of something, you know, 
Boy, them guys with long hair scare me. I'm always afraid one of them's wanting to marry me or something, you know. And it's got so bad with the women, you know, skinny's in. I was thinking the other night, I'm glad I'm not married to a skinny woman. I was looking and every skinny woman in the church looked sad and upset the other night about something. I said, look at there, just the heavy plump women look happy tonight. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. That's right. I ain't lying. I ain't being funny. I'm just telling the truth. I said, thank God I ain't a skinny woman. Hallelujah. You know, I've seen skinny women lately. They walking along and skinny boy. I mean, you nearly wrecked the car trying to figure out if it's a him, shim, or what it is, you know. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And they call us weird. Ah, uh, they call us strange. <laughs> I ain't strange, honey. I'm happy. I'm not weird. I'm full of joy. You know what the difference is between me? You're frustrated and you're sad and you're weary and you're worn and I'm happy and I'm full of joy and I got something to sing about and dance about and dress up about. Because he's mine. They come along, the boss comes along, you know, and say, Well, why don't you? Because I've already been acquired by somebody else. I've already been purchased. Well, you know about your job. Oh, boy, one time come up to me smarting off about my job at Cessna. I said, I want to tell you something. I put my finger in his little old chest and I said, I want to tell you something. You get this straight in your head right now. You understand? I mean, he's my boss and I'm talking to him, see? <laughs> Hallelujah. I say, if you think I'm married to this joint, you're just as crazy as you can get. You understand? Right. You know, when he, you say, well, you get fired. No, I didn't get fired. He left me alone. He figured out he didn't have no power over me. They go fire nobody can do their job. They just fire the people who are smart off and can't do nothing either. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. They ain't going to get rid of a good hand. One that shows up to work every day, you know. Don't have their wife sick this day and they're sick tomorrow. Hallelujah. And the dog's sick the next day, you know. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then they wake up the next day and you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Praise God. Them's the guys that get rid of. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. But they, they got some respect for a man that has been acquired by the Lord. They don't have no power on them. Pretty soon they get to asking you, why do you do this? And how's come you do well, that's just exactly what I wanted them to do. <laughs> Woo! Now I'm getting down to where I want to go. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's get the Bible out. Let's look at this and see why I do that. You see, somebody bought me one day. Somebody paid the price for me one day. That's why I'm a peculiar person. That's why you don't have any influence over me. That's why you can't run my mind. He's already got my mind. Somebody said, well, you people lost your mind. I said, thank God. Hallelujah. That's what I need to do is lose my mind and get the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, peculiar people. <laughs> That's me. That's me. I'm going to admit it. I am. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. That what? That we should show for the praises. The praises. That makes us different. That's a part of us the world like. So the world's tired of those dead churches. 
I ask him about abundant life over here. That's where he's been going sometimes. And I asked him, I said, well, are they Pentecostal? What are they? Oh, no, he said, they're no denomination. He said, some of them are Catholics, and some of them are this, and some of them are that. And he went on down through it, you know. He said, we just praise the Lord. And while he's doing it, he stuck another big wad of snuff in his mouth. He said, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm not running him down because I'm going to do all I can to get him into the real truth. Give him something to really live for. I mean, he can't help it because he ain't never had the truth. Brother, and until you really come into the truth, you, you're just stuck out there. Woo. How many ever remember when you're stuck out there? Just stuck out there. Hallelujah. Praise God. But thank God for the truth that ushered me in. Swept me in the house of God. Washed me up. Made me clean. Give me something to live for and joy. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to praise Him for bringing me into this marvelous light. Marvelous light. I'm going to tell you something. To know that Jesus is God manifested in the flesh is just not some little old thing that happened to me. But it's a light that shined upon my pathway that got me out of sin. I'm glad I'm not fighting around with triunity tonight. I don't have no trouble with that. None whatsoever. Hallelujah. You believe Jesus is a triunity, you still got a lot of getting on to find out. You're so messed up, it ain't funny. Hey, anybody that believes in the Trinity is wishy washy. Anybody. Anybody that believes in the Trinity doesn't have a foundation. So they're, they're in confusion because that's what Trinity is, is confusion. Amen. My brother, when Jesus Christ revealed to me that he was God manifested in the flesh and that there wasn't three of them, there's one of them. Woo! You say, well, you, you raised up in that, Brother Elder. You grew up in that. that you, that's easy for you to accept. Oh, no, honey, let me tell you something. I was raised up into that. I did grow up into that. But I want you to know something. Not until I left home, not until I went through the army, not until I come back and pray back as a backslider did God reveal this to me. Hallelujah. Praise God. I could quote one of the scriptures and everything else, but when God revealed to me that he was God manifested in the flesh and took the scriptures and opened it up and said, now the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld the glory that's of the only begotten of the Father. Woo! First Timothy 3 16, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, did preach to the Gentiles. Hallelujah! Was seen of the angels, preached, hallelujah, was received back in the glory. Who God was. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5 19 to witness that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Hallelujah! That's a marvelous light. That's a marvelous light. That's a marvelous light. It's a marvelous light when I found out. You know, for years, folks come along, got a hold of me and messed me up, said, well, you know, you can see born of the Spirit real easy. But it's hard to prove you was born in water. Oh, Brother Elder, all you got to do is ask a doctor. No, I know what I'm talking about. Jesus looked at Nicodemus. He said, unless a man's born of water again. Oh, 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 Baptist. I'll get rid of your Baptist doctrine right there. Hallelujah. Born of water again. That's past mama. Hallelujah. Born of water again. Born of spirit again. I had 
struggle with that. Woo. I could get the born of the spirit real easy, but that born of the water. But one day, bless God, I was just popping along there, you know, reading in Romans the sixth chapter, and he said, Behold now, are we all new creatures? Right. Woo. What's he talking about? Water baptism. When we come up out of that, a brand new creature. How, what are you talking about? Born to the water. Born to the water. I come up a brand new human being. Brand new creature. I was born in the water. Hey, honey, I want to tell you something. That ain't just something. That's marvelous light. What are you preaching on the church tonight? Hallelujah. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. You know, baptism of the Holy Ghost, a lot of folks think just speaking in tongues. Might be all this for you. That ain't what it is for me. I like to stand around and listen to you saints talk in tongues. It ain't none of your business. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Amen. Because you don't know it. The Lord made it my business. Right. Amen. Right. Right. Stand around and listen to you talk in tongues. Because I can tell when you're just standing there talking in tongues if you're getting somewhere in the Spirit. And I love to see people in church get somewhere in the spirit. Because it's ten times better than in the pastor study counseling. You know, a lot of you folks, thank God you don't. Talk about the good old days. Man, I'm telling you, I lived in ten times better days than this generation's got to in front of it. Why you folks don't even know what it's like to reach over there and snatch a hold of that. Of a floor shifter and jerk that baby over into third gear and stomp on that foot feed and the whole back end just start feast tailing. Burning rubber. Just burning, laying that rubber down at about 65 mile an hour. Come blipping, blapping around the curve one night. I was bouncing somewhere between 95 and 110 wife said, she's my girlfriend then, said, you don't slow down, I'm going to jump out. I said, go ahead and jump. <laughs> Wasn't worried at that kind of speed, she couldn't even open the door. Praise God. Thank God you don't know what that's like. Hallelujah. You don't need to find out what the only crazy people do things like that. Hallelujah. I quit being crazy, now I'm a chicken. Hallelujah. But I can tell you one thing. I can tell you what it's like to be going 65 mile an hour and reach over there and grab a gear, slam her down, and jump right off of 65 to 100, 105, 110, just like that. See, you, you don't live. My God, to put 85 on your speedometers now and Praise God. You know what I'm talking about? You all think I'm really stretching it. You ask my wife. She's my girlfriend, wasn't you, baby? I was cooking down the highway to pick her up for church one night. Cadillac, you know. She'd only run at 110. I had her swinging down there. I said, man, I don't know why you can't. Let's try a little bit more here, you know. I was trying to get her on down there a little bit more. Wham! What was that? Hood flew off my car. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. I pull up to pick her up for church. See, I'm that fine little Christian boy that's come to church on Sunday night and shouting all over the place, you know, and dancing all the little girls. 
you know, and take all the little girls out at church, you know. <laughs> Praise God. And she started to get in the car and she looked scared to death. She said, What'd you do? Said, Nothing? Why? But she said, Look up over your head. And I raised my head up and almost hit my nose on the ceiling of the car. And that hook took off. It just barely, like in a fraction of an inch, smashed my head in two. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I didn't intend to get into this, but we did. <laughs> you know, I know what it's like to reach over there. All of a sudden, you're not pushing anymore, buddy. You're flying. I like to walk around saints when they're talking in tongues. Every once in a while, it's just like they reached over there and they got a hold of that gear shift and they just jerked it down, man. And now they're at a hundred and some miles an hour. Just like that. Boy, I love I love it, 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 I love it. I say, praise God, God's doing it, God's doing it, God's doing it. God's getting them, God's doing it, God's doing it, hallelujah. Praise God. God's getting their mind straightened up. <laughs> God's getting their heart all straightened up. Ah, <laughs> God's getting their body all straightened up. Hallelujah! Woo! Praise God. What are you talking about? It's church, church, church. It's the greatest place in town. It's better than any state fair. Or any other thing coming to town. Go out and talk about what a time they had. They didn't have no time. Look at them. Families are busting up, having divorce. Guys run around town, all over town, talking about them. Are you out with that bitch last night? Now I was out with that bitch about three weeks ago. I got me a new one. Hey, I heard him down there at the restaurant the other day. I don't know if you did or not. I was paying attention. Brother Tracy, he don't, he can't figure me out. I'm always watching people. He can't figure it out, you know. Praise God. Oh, you just learn lots of things watching people. Praise God. Well, you're talking about the church, brother. Oh, the church. That's right. The church. Hallelujah. This marvelous light is what I was into. This marvelous light. Woo! I want you to know the Holy Ghost is marvelous to me. It ain't just something that happened and I started talking in tongues, you know. Hallelujah. But I want you to know this is something that gets a hold of me. It brings down revelation. It brings down vision. Hallelujah. Praise God. It keeps my feet in the straight and narrow way. He is a light unto my path and a lamp. Hallelujah. Praise God. This Holy Ghost is something real to me. It's not something that I just get over in the corner and go. No, no. Honey, you're missing it somewhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when I go talking in tongues, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Fact is, uh, the older I get, the more I talk in tongues, the more I don't want you to bother me. Uh, just don't bother me. I, I don't care if the phone's ringing. I'm talking to something better than the phone. Hallelujah. I don't care if the kid fell down and broke the neck. I'm talking to something better than the kid. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, why do you just wait till I get through? I'm talking to somebody important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. When I go to talking in tongues, it's important to me. Amen. Y'all try it out sometime. Some folks just get over there and jibber jabber, jibber jabber, jibber jabber. Yeah, and they come off. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been talking in tongues. Ain't nothing happening. Ain't no wonder. You think it's all in talking in tongue? Quit paying attention to you talking in tongues and talking in tongues and pay attention to what else is happening. 
Got quiet in here. Y'all quit shouting. Praise God. Hallelujah. Like the Frenchman. It's 9.30. Time for church quit, huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. The church is not about emperors running it. Go study history and all you get is a bunch of dumb emperors. The church is not in a state of wealth. Go to a bunch of places and all it is a stained glass windows donated by brother so and so and Mr. So and so and Mrs. So and so. Hallelujah. The church is not a place of commerce. Not where you get your jobs. Where you buy your clothes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Next thing you know, well, come to my shop because I go to church, you know. Hey, I don't care what shop you own. I can shop anywhere I want to. Ain't got anything to do with the church. Hallelujah. Praise God. Church is not theologies. Well, I believe, brother. I'll tell you I thought about that and I'll tell you I uh, Church is not theologies. Church is thus saith the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Church is not an organization. Not an organization. I mean like the United Pentecostal Church. What are you in the UPC for? Because I like it. Because I think it's great. Praise God. I think it's the best one there is in the oneness apostolic movement. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why I'm in it. Amen. Got a lot of great men in it. You know what's getting great about the UPC is the young men. They're coming up strong. Woo, I like that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God's getting rid of a bunch of old fuddy duddies and replacing them with young lions. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. The church is an organization, but it's a functional organization of Jesus Christ, not of something down here on the face of the earth. Praise God. Amen. The church cannot be without organization, but it is not an organization of this earth. It's a heavenly organization. Yeah. He said, I'll lead you, and I'll guide you, and I'll direct you, and I'll speak to you, and I'll tell you, hallelujah. It's a divine order. My God, maybe you don't feel nothing, but I'm beginning to feel it. The church is Christ's power. Hallelujah. When you see the church walking along, it's power. Watch out, cancer. Watch out, dope. Watch out, alcohol. Watch out, cigarettes. Somebody said that's all of ever. Yeah, uh -huh. you know why? That's sin and you love sin. And when the church comes, you feel threatened. Because here comes the church. It's a vibrant army. Hallelujah. It's an army with terrible banners. Praise God. You need to feel threatened when the church comes. Because it's acquired. It's possessed by the blood of the Lamb. It'll cleanse you from all filth. My God, there ain't no way to quit on the church. Hallelujah. I like it when I'm coming down the road. Sitting up here talking to my boy yesterday. I said, well, you know, you're not even lies can get in. Let alone all this other stuff. Praise God. You know, you sit and think about this. Well, everybody tells a lie once in a while. I ain't supposed to. Uh, amen. 
I was doing good till I said that. Hello? Only the Holy Ghost can take lies out of you. Only the Holy Ghost can take sin out of you. Praise God. Only the Holy Ghost. Only the power of Christ. So the church is the vibrant, thriving powers of Jesus Christ. It was never intended to be anything else on earth. It was only intended to heal the blind. It was only intended to heal the lame. Praise God. It was only intended to set at liberty them that were in bondage. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that bondage don't mean bound up to holiness. That means bound up to sin. That's what bondage is. Hallelujah. Bound up to holiness is godliness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Paul said, I'm in bonds to Jesus Christ. If I'm going to be in bonds, let it be to Jesus Christ. But he came to set the captive free. I'm telling you, they're locked up in sin. You're going to run right back out tomorrow. You're going to commit adultery. You're going to commit fornication. You're going to lie. You're going to cuss. You're going to do all them things because Satan owns you. And Satan tells you to do it. And you're possessed and bought up and bound by him. Amen. That's why you're going to do it. But until you get a hold of Jesus Christ and he sets you free and he gets you out of of all that bondage. Then you're just going to do those trashy things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank God for the power. Thank God for the blood. Praise God the church is going to come along. Woo! Chosen. I'm chosen. I'm chosen. Hallelujah. I'm chosen tonight. I'm peculiar tonight. Hallelujah. Whew. Church is triumphant. You know why the church is triumphant? I'll tell you why the church is triumphant. It's because it's obedient to its commander in chief. Hallelujah. It's a powerful organization. Hallelujah. Satan strikes at the church and thinks he killed it. Ain't even wounded it. <laughs> Hallelujah. I looked them devils here while back. I said, Oh, don't feel sorry for me. I said, Every time I, I spend a thousand, y'all spend anywhere from ten to two hundred fifty thousand. So, praise God. I got the message across to that dingbat. <laughs> she thought she was hurting me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hurting me? <laughs> what about your job? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, God makes a way where there ain't no way. <laughs> I said the Lord makes a way where there is no way. You ain't killing the church. You're not driving the church under. I'll tell you what, though. The church, even in this city, it's got them on the run. Got them on the run. I said it's got them on the run. They're running. I've seen it lately. I've been driving up and down the streets saying, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It's got them on the run. You come in here to see if we're losing tonight. You're crazy. Lose. Lose. You forgot who our commander in chief is. You think it's a well? You think you got a well? My God, let me tell you something. There's some folks sitting in here tonight, I'm prophesying now, that if they don't get in this altar and repent, God's going to smash them and quit. I just did that because the Holy Ghost came on me and told me to do it. I don't do that very often. But he told me to do it and I just did it. 